Ever since Iron Gwazi was officially announced to the public on September 12th, 2019, there has been an overwhelming question of which is going to be better, Iron Gwazi or Steel Vengeance. I am here today to make the argument of why I personally think that when it opens, Iron Gwazi is going to be better than Steel Vengeance. First, let's talk about Steel Vengeance. This absolute monster of a coaster stands at a height of 205 feet, has a top speed of 74 miles an hour, a drop of 90 degrees, and a total track length of 5,740 feet of track, thus making it the tallest, fastest, steepest, and longest hybrid coaster when it opened back in 2018. Steel Vengeance has a very airtime focused ride experience with almost 30 seconds of airtime throughout the 2 minute and 30 second ride. After dropping down its 90 degree drop, Steel Vengeance flies through two crazy airtime filled top hats, one of them being banked outwards. From there, the train hauls into a crazy set of inversions, coming out of it with a double up into the mid course brake run. From here, riders experience what many people argue is the best part of the ride. The second half of Steel Vengeance throws riders out of their seats in a collection of ejector airtime filled hills, overbanked turns, and inversions, then finally it slams into the brakes. Currently, Steel Vengeance is my personal favorite roller coaster. I love the long ride experience coupled with the insane airtime that you get while riding. Plus, the aggressive inversions add a lot to the overall experience. Plus, the coaster looks beautiful and intimidating. As you cross the train tracks, you will notice how massive this coaster is. It is an amazing sight. Steel Vengeance had been speculated by coaster enthusiasts ever since RMC made their big break with New Texas Giant back in 2011, and finally we got what we wanted. But now with Iron Gwazi announced, this ride may give Steel Vengeance a run for its money. And now with a height of 206 feet, a top speed of 76 miles an hour, and a drop of 91 degrees, Iron Gwazi is taking the height, speed, and steepness title from Steel Vengeance. The only one of these categories that this coaster does not beat Steel Vengeance in is length, where Iron Gwazi sits at 4,075 feet of track. Even though the coaster stats are very similar, the layouts are insanely different. Iron Gwazi starts off with a 91 degree drop, which is sure to skyrocket riders right out of their seats. From there, the coaster flies through a massive outer banked turn, similar to the one found on Steel Vengeance. The train then climbs up a massive hill that dips underneath the lift hill into an inversion that gives me flashbacks to the barrel roll drop on Twisted Timbers. Iron Gwazi will then throw you into its second inversion, a huge overbanked turn, and then into what looks to be the most picturesque moment on this ride, a massive wave turn over the station. After that, the train travels through another wave turn and then into the third and final inversion, a zero-g stall. Finally, the train hauls through some small ejector-filled hills and then slams into the brake run. Aside from the layout, Iron Gwazi is an absolutely beautiful ride. I had the chance to go to Busch Gardens Tampa in December, and let me just say that you can see the lift hill from all parts of the park. The purple color scheme is super vibrant and is very noticeable, which makes this a beautiful and photogenic ride. And now, here is why I think that Iron Gwazi will be better than Steel Vengeance, starting with the theming. Other than simply being more beautiful than Steel Vengeance, Iron Gwazi also has more theming on the trains as well as from the looks of it in the queue lines. The station building looks amazing from the outside, unlike Steel Vengeance's which is pretty much just a big box. But now onto the most important part which is the layout. 
Steel Vengeance, like I said, has a very airtime focused layout, providing its riders with a crazy amount of air. The only issue with this though is that Steel Vengeance doesn't really have much variety to its layout. Steel Vengeance does have a couple of inversions as well as some overbanked turns, but it's not really unlike anything else we've seen here in the US, just on a bigger scale. Iron Gwazi, on the other hand, has a very diverse layout, with focuses on airtime, both floater and ejector, as well as crazy wave turns and inversions. To me, a great ride has a couple key elements in it. Length, re-rideability, unique and fun elements, and finally, diversity. To me, Iron Gwazi has better elements, looks to have more re-rideability, and for sure, better diversity, which to me, makes it a better ride. I do want to hear you guys' thoughts on this subject, so please comment your thoughts down below and also look out for more of these types of videos coming soon because they are very fun to make. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys all next time. Peace out. This absolute monster of a coaster stands at a height of 2,000... <laughs> no. <laughs> and now with a height of 2,000... <laughs> I almost said 2,006 feet. Oh my god.